Hey, how's it going? Spy here and welcome back to another Scrap Mechanic Follow Shelter episode. Now it's been a while guys since I did a video on the Follow Shelter and that's because the Follow Shelter is starting to perform pretty badly. The frames are starting to drop quite drastically in a lot of places and that kind of sucks. So that means the Fallout Shelter might be coming to an end pretty soon. But before that happens, I will make sure to do a tour video of the full Fallout Shelter, even though some parts might have some frame issues. But that is alright. Anyways guys, this episode I have two new pretty cool rooms that you guys have been requesting quite a bit. And if we head down this hallway, you will see on the left here, this is a new room. And you guys have been requesting an arcade for quite a while now. And guess what I made? An arcade. Alright, so let's head in. And as soon as we head in, you guys will notice that this is the lobby area for the arcade. This is where you will hand in currency to receive some tokens for the machines there. And then you can also come back up here once you have some tickets to renew them into prizes. Yeah, look at those prizes. Who wouldn't want prizes like that? You got ducks, you got mugs, you got a cactus. Cactus, man. I would want a cactus in a follow shelter, even though it, it's probably fake. And it's not living. Radios though. And pil pylons. Those would make great hats. But anyways, back here we got the counter where the employees would sit. Um, that'd be a pretty fun job actually. Um, arcade jobs? That's fun. And then you got buttons here to turn off all the lights here. Just, just to turn off these snazzy looking light bars there and over there. I'll turn that back on though to make it look nice. All right, so let's head down to the arcade. Look at the lights though. I really like them. Parts of them are timed and the other parts over there are not. Add some uh, diversity to the lights, I guess. Anyways, before I get into this arcade here, um, there is quite a bit of different arcade machines made by different people. So if you want to check these out yourself, go check out the links in the description or you could check out my Fallout Shelter pack for all of the items that I used in the follow shelter. I might be missing some in the pack, but it should be updated eventually. Anyways, um, these are pretty much all the same machines that I used in the Mini CD 1.0 arcade. You guys may recognize them. They're pretty cool looking. We got the coin machine here. I don't remember everyone's name off the top of my head, but they are in the description if you guys do want to check them out. We got some more here. We got one here, Pac-Man, of course, <laughs> and uh, pin pinball machines, and just general things like that. And then over here, we got claw machines, and yeah, that's pretty much it for the arcade room here. But if we head back here, there is a, a little lounge here with a computer. It doesn't really fit the fallout shelter, but you know what? An arcade doesn't either. <laughs> but we do have a computer here with a tower, which doesn't make sense. And then back here we have some TVs with a couch and some video game consoles. But that's not it for the arcade, guys. That's not it at all. There is a little secret. Can you guys spot it? I don't know. I can't spot it. Well, yeah, I, yeah, I can. I, I know where it is. Also, there's a, this button here that turns the lights on and off. But anyways, the secret entrance is right here. Just click this button. And some doors open and look at this oh man <laughs> so i wasn't sure what this was going to be it could be multiple things it could be like a flight sim kind of thing or it could be like the tranquility lane type of thing from fallout 3 where they're stuck in virtual reality and the tranquility lane that it's pretty deep. That's that's deep, man. <laughs> All right, so we just got a bunch of machines here and there. We got like these giant server AI computer things. Uh, we got another little terminal thing here. And then back here, we got the servers for this thing. Yeah, so we got to turn it on. And to turn it on, what we do is we click both of these buttons. That pulls that lever down and turns on the computers here or the servers. And then to start this, you have to press this button here and the door will open up for you and the lights will turn on. Ooh, I don't know if I want to sit in there. Anyways, here we go. Press one to close it. And now here we go, guys. Are you ready? Whoa. 
It's crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> I don't really know. <laughs> I just added buttons to give it a little more depth. But yeah. Another little secret room. Let's turn this stuff off. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the arcade and the little secret room here. I wasn't sure what to really add, but if you guys have any more suggestions for secret rooms, let me know. I'm sure I could fit some more stuff into the fallout shelter before the end comes up. But anyways, let's uh, close that. And there's one more room I want to show you guys, and it is a pretty cool one. You guys have been requesting this one too, but we have to head one more floor down. So we got to get on the elevator over here. Click this button to call it. And we gotta go all the way down towards the abandoned uh, wing of the follow shelter. Not all the way down, but oh man. Yeah, see, this is this is what's starting to happen with the follow shelter since there's so much stuff in the map. The bearings are starting to glitch out and the elevator is now very unstable. So we'll we'll make the elevator go down one more floor like this. And we just go down here, turn a right, another right, and then a left. And then uh, right here is the abandoned wing, abandoned science wing, but we're not going to go down there. We're going to go straight. And this is the VIP hallway, even though I'm really the only very important person in this fallout shelter at the moment. Man. All right, let's head down here. It gets a little lonely in the fallout shelter, guys. See? Number one room. And if you already guessed, this is my own little apartment room my own little suite i customized it myself i designed it how i wanted and we're gonna go inside and we're gonna check it out all right so this is my um entryway we got some hooks here for coats uh, boxes all around the apartment here <laughs> and here we got a little closet a little shoe closet uh, we, we have some more hangers for our coats we got our little prosthetic legs i guess um those are for the lights. You guys will see that in a second. But if we head back here, this will be like our little kitchen and our dining room. We got painting there. This is our kitchen here. We got a stove. We got a working fridge, of course. It's not... There we go. <laughs> of course, the only thing inside are ducks because that's all we really need. Just ducks. Nothing else. There's, there's nothing else to eat in the follow shelter. Just just ducks. Should probably paint this though. There we go. And there is a little artificial backdrop back there. It's artificial outside area. I don't know what to really call that. But it makes it look like there is the outside world outside your apartment. Even though it's not actually there. It's just like... It's fake. It's simulated. <laughs> Alright. And then we got a sink cupboards and that's pretty much it and um there is no living room in my apartment because over here i have my little computer room or the recording studio i guess this is where i record my videos for you guys i'm doing it right now it's like a paradox i don't know there's the light switch right here i almost forgot it what where it was but if we turn on this light here it turns off these lights back here because if we have these lights on with these lights it starts to glitch out which is kind of weird wait yeah kind of weird i don't know but this is the recording room this is where i record my videos we got these terminals here old school recording guys we got a little webcam there probably like a 0.5 megapixel camera man that's that's old school <laughs> i don't know i don't know at all we got our microphone fuse box we got some plants all around because we're the vip we get to all the cool stuff Anyways, let's head back here, and this is my room. This is my bedroom. It's very simple, and I got a really big, comfy bed for my little dwarf body. <laughs> but if you guys are wondering what these are, these are my storage boxes, because, um... Oops, I don't know why that's painted. Because if you guys know about Fallout, your inventory gets pretty, pretty full, pretty fast. Pretty full, pretty fast? Yeah. It gets full pretty fast. So, you need a place to store your items, and this is what I have. I got four boxes here to store all my loot that I get from the outside world. Yeah. Gotta store your items somewhere, I guess. Anyways, uh, we're gonna head back here now. And this is my personal bathroom. We got our personal water storage tanks here. Yeah. Over here, we got a bathtub. The only bathtub in the fallout shelter. Look at that. Little bubble bath whenever we want. 
a big waste of uh, water. Well, not really. It's it's less of a waste of water than showers, I guess, that are on the same on the same level here. Um, then we got a toilet, toilet paper roll, and we got our sink here. Ah, yeah. So that is pretty much it for my little personal apartment here. It's pretty cozy. Pretty cozy if I'd say so myself. What do you guys think? There are some things I have missed though when building this, like these corner pieces. Nothing too major though, but uh, I could fix them up really easy. Look at that. Pretty much fixed. But anyways, guys, I'm not sure how many more episodes of the Fallout Shelter I will get out. But if you have any more suggestions for rooms before this series does end, let me know. I think once the game becomes a little more stable, I will continue it. But at the moment, the game just can't handle such a massive amount of stuff on a single map. Especially with... Uh, not so good of a processor like mine in my computer. But I will for sure get a tour video out of the follow shelter before I do end it or I do keep it on hold until it gets more stable. But for now guys, that is pretty much it. So if you enjoyed this episode, make sure to like and subscribe if you have not already. And thank you guys for watching and subscribing. And remember, stay sweet. Bye.